I think uh, organized chaos is something that is very valuable for uh, basically everybody on the planet. If you look at nature and you would really, really zoom in on nature, you would see that things are very, very organized. So you can say, no, no, it's a big jungle. Everything is happening, this, that, 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 but there is a reason. There is a reason why a bird flies from there to there. It follows some kind of a logic. Archai is a proactive uh, uh, platform that uh, through uh, exploring design is uh, uh, searching for the true added value of architecture. So innovation and contemporary ideas and knowledge, in my mind, need to be incorporated. That is a responsibility of an architect. So I very much believe in uh, collaboration and uh, in an open design process where you are actually very honest in uh, what are the good things and the bad things and the challenges in the process, you achieve the best results. An example is in uh, Nanital, where we are working in the, uh, the lower foothills of the Himalayas at 2000 meter altitude with the forest department. Uh, the forest department is uh, Indian government. The climate of Nanital is very harsh. And that means for us as architects that we were looking for material that could really sustain that harsh climate and all the impacts of the environment. For the, uh, the columns uh, and for the structure that we're going to use, we have zoomed in on uh, stainless steel. Sustainability basically is something that I think lasts for a long time. It can only last for a long time because people appreciate it. If you really put your mind into something, and what you could call an intelligent effort, it will always lead to quality. But you can't just talk about architecture in a theoretical sense. You have to feel it. Good, bad or ugly. Some people ask me, how did you end up in Afghanistan? Or what are you doing in Nepal? Or, uh, I think that curiosity is, uh, is a good thing. And, uh, and if you combine it with an open mind and architecture, and uh, yeah, I think you end up maybe somewhere where I am now. In Afghanistan, sometimes they ask me, are you not joking yourself? They might have another war, the buildings that you make now, they might be destroyed. Yeah, sure, that is possible. Does it mean that I should stop what I'm doing? No, I'm an optimist. Is it a challenge? Yes, but I don't mind a challenge. I hope at least that I've learned uh, in this part of the world uh, a couple of lessons. And uh, one of them I already knew is that honesty goes a long way. And the other one is that uh, uh, you see very clearly in this part of the world that health is wealth. I think if you take the word forever, we should realize that the impact of infrastructure is certainly longer than a lifetime. If we can detach ourselves from fashion or from hypes and go beyond, let's say, time, the chances that we make things that last for a longer period of time than a lifetime of a human being is much bigger. My name is Anne, Anne Venstra. I'm an architect. I was born in Gouda in 1967. As a younger child with my two brothers, we were always uh, making things, whether it was uh, fixing a bicycle or whether it was making a present or always making things. And uh, when I was 19 years old, I went to study uh, architecture in uh, Delft. One always tries to be whatever you believe in, wherever you come from, that you always try to be a good person. 